Welcome back. It's now time for your midday sports. Five years since his last fight, 2015 Contender Series champion Kemal the Hitman Russell is set to grace the ring after signing a promotional contract with the Canadian-based United Boxing Promotions. The 32-year-old middleweight had his last fight in March of 2018, where he scored a second-round TKO victory after over Mexico's Michi Munoz at the National Arena. President of United Boxing Promotions, Tyler Buxton, provides further details on Russell's return to the ring. For quite some time, I've obviously seen him fight when I was traveling down for the Jamaican contender in 2017, 2018. You know, some stunning, stunning knockouts and some stunning wins. I believe he's got a, a lot left in the tank still, and, and we can get him, you know, ranked again. We, we signed a long-term deal. Uh, our goal is to get him back into the top 15 in the world, top 10 in the world, and get a shot at a world title fight. And uh, he'll be making his, his first fight under United Boxing Promotions shortly. Uh, it'll be announced in the next uh, the next week or so. You know, and saying that, we're also looking at potentially having him fight in Jamaica in, in the near future also. So things things look exciting for, for, for Team Hitman. Russell has a ring record of 13-1-0 with 11 knockouts. Heavyweight Ricardo Big 12 Brown, super welterweight Joshua Fraser and super middleweight Shaquille Finn are the other Jamaican boxers signed with United Boxing Promotions. The President's Cup Volleyball Tournament will make a return on Saturday at G.C. Foster College following a two-year absence due to COVID-19. The event will serve off at 9 in the morning. A total of 14 teams will participate with nine contesting the male section and five competing in the female section. The one-day rally is the opening event for the Jamaica Volleyball Association Club League, which starts on March 4. Jamaica's reggae girls will not have France captain Wendy Renard to contend with when the teams meet at the group stage at the upcoming World Cup in Australia and New Zealand as she'll not play at this summer's FIFA women's showpiece. Renard announced on Friday that she'll not play at the tournament as she criticised her country's football system. The 32-year-old centre-back has made 142 appearances for country and at club level and has won nine Champions League titles with Lyon. However, she says she'll not play at the tournament in Australia and New Zealand to preserve her mental health. She started her country's three games during February's international break. In addition to France, Jamaica's reggae girls will face Brazil, fellow CONCACAF team Panama in Group F at the FIFA Women's World Cup. And that's it for your midday sports report. Oshane. Thanks, Jordan. And that's the Midday News. I'm Shane Masters. Join us at 7 for primetime news. On behalf of the news sports and production teams, have a good afternoon.